principles that got us strong and well across that ocean from the slave ships and to go through hundreds and hundreds of years of oppression to be able to come to the point that we are now where we're discussing a very serious issue which is what's going on with our youth and particularly I would like to say with our young black men because as a female by virtue of being a female you have a degree of protection that our brethren d do not have so again I can say to kill Willie Lynch is to have all of our children, and I'm speaking specifically now to my cultural community, to create a situation where all of our children collectively, Rasta, yes, sir. Muslim, children of the Hebrew Israelites, all of us, that in our school systems that we are together collectively, because that will give our children a strength um, that we um, teach young daughters the proper way to behave and present themselves. Because again, that is the core of our strength, that we teach our young warriors mm -hmm. what it means to be a young warrior and carrying a Glock just to say you got it uh, is an invitation for trouble and not a show of strength. So everything that we do, one has to take back to the fundamentals of where we are and how we, um, how, how our daily liberty is expressed in everything that we do. It's very easy to say this one must do that and this one must do that, but the question, sister, is how are you going to kill Willie Lynch mm. in your life? Okay, that's a good question. Uh, next caller, state your name, where you calling from? Next caller. Explore and speak. Caller? Caller? Hello? Yes. Hello? Yes, C yeah, we can hear you. Okay, hi, I just wanted to make a comment. I'm enjoying the conversation that you all are having. Um, I think the main thing that we need to do is to teach our young people value. That's and right. by that, I mean to value themselves. And if you value yourself, you'll value those that you come into contact with. Who's there? You'll value those um, just Who's all around there? you. And it, I'm in the school system. And one thing that I heard a student say just Friday, and it really upset me, was that he said that life is a game. He said it's all a game anyway. Mm -hmm. And to hear a young man think that his existence is playtime just disheartens me. That's all I can say. Okay. So I mean, it's just about teaching young people to value themselves because if you love yourself, you won't want to harm anyone that's around you. So uh, that's just my comment, but good discussion. Okay, I'm passing over to. Okay, next caller, state your name, where you calling from? Hello. Yeah. We need to address her question. Oh, are we going to address her question? Hold on, caller. Are we going oh, to address oh, her oh, question? Oh, Jay, we got to go around. We see one thing we got to learn. Yeah, as a, a, hold on, hold on. But it's a one thing we got to learn as a council, though. <laughs> this is one thing we got to learn. We got to learn to respect each other on this council. Yeah. We can't just talk over. Like that. Code. You know what I'm saying? All right, but we have to have an order, though. You know what I'm saying? We have to listen to what Prince is saying, and, and you know, so we have to all, you know, what I'm saying, follow an order That's because right. right now things are chaotic. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying, how can we have an army or anything or economy or anything if we don't listen to each other? So we got to go around and say we have to look around yeah. this council and be considerate of the council that surrounds us before we can move forward as a nation. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying. So with that being said, caller, state your name. Where you calling from? Caller. Brother, uh, brother knowledge. Hey, brother. Um, uh, you know, the, she stated about you know, and, and me and Jay, we just talked about you know, um, I guess loving ourselves and respecting ourselves. And um, I know you gave me the hell of a pale white horse. You know, where they talking about floating pyramids and biochips and all these other thingamajigs. My question to you, to keep it simple, how do we? come together and start respecting our brothers and sisters? That's a good question. Man, you know, I can, uh, you know, the only way to answer that is to say, you know, work on yourself, you know what I'm saying? 
you know, okay. study yourself to be approved. Ain't that what Jay, you say all the time? You know what I'm saying? That's all I can say, you know. You know, before you look at somebody or judge somebody, you know what I'm saying? Look at yourself first, you know what I'm saying? Say, am I like that person? Am I better than that person? Am I, you know what I'm saying, lower than that person? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. but, you know, you gotta have a standard for yourself first, you know what I'm saying? Right. Make a standard and then see if anybody else is living to that standard, you know what I'm saying? If, if I choose not to lie, you know what I'm saying? I want the person, anybody I'm talking to not to lie to me, you know what I'm saying? That's right. So, you know, first you gotta build a standard for yourself, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, check off things you need to work on, you know what I mean? And try to work on them. So when you do run into a person, you know, a human being, somebody else, you know what I'm saying, you probably never know, you know what I'm saying? You got to, you know, give them an opportunity to work, for, you know what I'm saying, work their they problems out, you know what I'm saying? You can't be quick to judge. Give everybody time and opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to work That's and right. approve themselves, you know what I'm saying? But first and foremost, you know, work on yourself, you know what I'm saying? Okay. That's all, I have to say. all right. Caller, state your name. Where you calling from? Caller? Caller? Speak. speak, speak, caller. Caller, caller. Hello. Uh, uh, we're going to go to the, you, the, the uh, panel here. Um, pass it. Oh, he's, I don't have any guys' mic. From everything that everybody has discussed here, you know, we, we talked about gangs, you know, culture, music, you know, coming together, you know. Um, I want to hear from you because you know I met some young gang members because they they getting younger and younger. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And you know, brother said that Jay said it's not a war going on, but according to the rap music, um, they beg to differ. You know, I mean, Jay is just one man, but you got a whole industry with Jay Z reaching millions and trillions of youth like yourself. My question to you, brother, is. You know, I just want to ask, ask this honestly, possibly. Do you feel that there's a war going on within our people or within, on the black youth? What's as far as a, oh, brother. Angelo. Angelo. Yeah. Do you feel there's a hardship on, oh, their pants are sagging, you know, they're smoking weed and blunts. Do you feel like there's a, like there's a war going on in the youth? Or what's your opinion? Uh, I wouldn't probably call it a war, but I would probably call it like a, a beef. A or beef, okay. A beef or a misunderstanding. Mm. Okay. With mm. each other. Because mm. okay. uh, you can't be on two different planes. Like, mm. I'm up here, you down here. We got to see eye to eye. That's right. And, you know, you just got to come together and understand each other and you got to solve the situation. Okay, okay. Okay, so, um, that's, 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 where's the wisdom there? Where's the wisdom? Got any more callers? Okay. One caller. Call us, state your name, where you coming from? Um, calling from, I'm sorry. So Hi, this. this is Megan calling from Lathonia. Lathonia, oh, okay. Yeah, um, I just started tuning into the show, so I don't really know what you're talking about. Well, but I did hear the part about rap music. Okay. And I think the important thing is that people should stop blaming the media and music for the things that they do. Okay. Those things are always going to be there. But I think it comes down to the household and how you're being raised. Okay, turn your and if down you are a person. Getting the feedback, turn it just down a little bit. Oh, okay. Thank you. And um, is this better? Yeah. yeah, that's yeah, much better. Okay, and I think that if you're in a position of influence and then you have the responsibility to help those who are less fortunate. Mm -hmm. So we need to have more mentors out in the community and more people being um, committed to raising their children the right way. Uh, that way they won't be so susceptible to some of the images and uh, uh, sounds that are out there in the world, because those things are all going to be there. We shouldn't be so easily influenced. Okay. Melissa. Well, to answer a question, I don't think that people are necessarily blaming uh, rap music or whatnot, but it does have a, a play in everything. See, the thing is, and the reason why the household is so destroyed, is like, just think about it. To have to take care of your family, you got to get a job. Either do that or uh, sell drugs or whatnot. Every action that you take comes with a consequence. For, for the action of a person having to get a job, working 9 to 5, sometimes 10, sometimes 12 hours a day, that household lacks. 
See, it used to be where the men was out in the field handling everything, and the women, you know, would run the household and did a damn good job of it. But now we've come into that IND, you know, independent women, uh, women not dependent on men. So it all comes back to the winning this theory, too. And since the women are not dependent on that.